The 1940s was a tumultuous decade, marked by the global conflict of World War II. In the Pacific theater, the United States Navy played a crucial role in countering Japanese expansion and securing victory. Among the many vessels that contributed to this effort was the USS Kaskaskia, a Cimarron-class fleet replenishment oiler. The Kaskaskia served with distinction, providing vital logistical support to the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Commissioned in 1940, the USS Kaskaskia quickly became an essential asset in the Pacific. As an oiler, its primary mission was to supply fuel to warships, enabling them to stay at sea for extended periods. This capability was vital in a theater where vast distances separated islands and battle zones. The Kaskaskia's operational range and capacity to refuel other ships allowed the U.S. Navy to maintain a constant and formidable presence across the Pacific. One of the notable early destinations for the Kaskaskia was the Hawaiian Islands. For many young sailors aboard, this was their first experience in an exotic locale far from home. Arriving in Hawaii, they were greeted by the stunning natural beauty and the vibrant culture of the islands. During their liberty time, sailors might visit Waikiki Beach, a stretch of golden sand that had already begun to gain international fame. Here, they could relax, swim in the warm waters, and maybe even try their hand at surfing. Waikiki was not only a beach but also a social hub. The Royal Hawaiian Hotel, known as the Pink Palace of the Pacific, stood as an iconic landmark. Sailors, dressed in their crisp white uniforms, would often find their way to this hotel. The exotic allure of Hawaii was a stark contrast to the often monotonous and grueling life at sea. For many of these sailors, the islands represented a brief respite from the harsh realities of war. The blend of natural beauty, diverse cultures, and the hospitality of the Hawaiian people left a lasting impression on those who visited. As the war progressed, the USS Kaskaskia's role became increasingly crucial. The ship participated in numerous operations, including major battles such as the Solomon Islands Campaign and the Battle of Leyte Gulf. The Kaskaskia was often on the move, navigating through treacherous waters under the constant threat of enemy attack. Despite these dangers, the crew remained steadfast in their mission, ensuring that the fleet remained fueled and operational. During these operations, the Kaskaskia would rendezvous with various task forces, conducting underway replenishments. This process involved complex maneuvers, as the oiler and the receiving warships had to maintain a steady course and speed while fuel lines were transferred. These operations were performed under all conditions, often in rough seas and at night, showcasing the skill and determination of the crew. In addition to its refueling duties, the Kaskaskia occasionally transported other essential supplies, including ammunition and food. The ship's versatility made it a vital asset in the Pacific, contributing to the sustained offensive against Japanese forces. The efforts of the Kaskaskia and its crew were instrumental in maintaining the momentum of the Allied advance across the Pacific. The USS Kaskaskia's service during World War II speaks to the efforts of the unsung heroes of such logistical support units. While not as glamorous as the battleships and aircraft carriers, ships like the Kaskaskia were indispensable to the war effort. Their work ensured that frontline units had the resources needed to achieve victory in the Pacific.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.